Hi, I'm Tanner with Trained by Tux. Today I'm going to show you a video on how to diagnose a P0420 that you expect may have an exhaust leak. Uh, the way we're going to do that today is we're going to use a shop vac. We're going to take the air hose off of the suction side of the vacuum, make sure that the inside of the vacuum is cleaned out, and then we're going to put the hose on the side that blows air out of it. Once we do that, we're going to take the shop vac and you're going to hook the other end of it up to the tailpipe of the car that you're working on. You're going to need an assistant to hold that on there or you're going to have to tape it on. The exhaust has to be cold to do this test. What we're going to do then is turn the shop vac on and we're going to use soap and water to find the air leak in the exhaust. So I'm going to turn the shop vac on for a second and I'm going to show you guys what you'll see and how to go about finding a leak and uh, you're not going to be able to hear me while I'm doing this so I'll wait till I turn the shop vac back, back off to talk again. The reason that we're looking for this is this car has a P0420 catalytic converter and efficiency code. Uh, what can happen with this code is obviously the converter can be bad or you can have an air leak before the downstream O2 sensor which then can cause uh, the O2 sensor to read erratically tricking the computer into thinking that you have a bad converter. So we always want to check for exhaust leaks between the oxygen sensors to rule that out. This car is leaking from the flex pipe. So it's going to need a flex pipe and then we have to retest after, but more than likely it is not going to need anything other than that flex pipe. Uh, this tip I can't take credit for, this tip was shown to um, our group by John Rogers, so we decided to do a video of it to show everyone else uh, an easy way to do this. Just make sure when you're doing it that the exhaust is cold so that the bubbles that you're spraying on it aren't uh, boiling off. Um, other than that, just again make sure the shop vac is clean. Um, that's pretty much all you need to know for it so hopefully this tip has helped you and uh, any feedback would be great just leave it in the comments section and uh, hopefully uh, you enjoyed this video. Thank you.